What's going on everyone? Carlos Hyde here coming back at you with another video and right now as I'm doing this I am live on twitch.tv slash bengalbro. That was a while ago by the time this gets uploaded like at least at least 12 hours ago probably so it's no longer live uh, but we are we're out here doing the 49ers franchise. This should be the complete version and then there will be an edited version if you care to watch that later uh, but this is the complete version. As um, Unclear Cookie subscribes, appreciate that. Third month in a row for Unclear Cookie. I appreciate you. You guys do want to follow slash subscribe to my Twitch channel. Links to those are in the description. But here we go. First, we need to talk about the team. It was not a great season for us, finishing six and ten after we had like a whole simulation thing to expedite the series, which I think is you know clearly. Clearly a thing that needed to happen. I uploaded, what, nine episodes in, like, four months? Stream more? I, I will more, but, like, I can't stream Madden all the time. I can't stream Madden, like, ever. Did Mark Hart... Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Marquise Goodwin make the Pro Bowl? He did make the Pro Bowl. Not a whole lot of XP. Um, but, yeah. On the offensive line, Trent Brown, I think, is a fine piece for us. 25 years old. We'll upgrade him a bit. We'll do upgrading in this um, in this offseason stream. Lakin Tomlinson. He's someone I could also see potentially staying on the team. We'll have to see how the draft goes. Daniel Kilgore pretty much has to go. Brandy Fusco, or Fusco, pretty much has to go. And then Gary Gilliam uh, is horrific. He needs to go as well. Zane Beatles can go too. At tight end, we're dealing with injuries, so George Kittle is probably going to be that guy. Broken t tibia out 20 weeks. Jesus. Injury's on? Yeah, injury is on. Marquise Goodwin... Uh, we're going to stick with him. He's going to be a decent slot option, especially after making the Pro Bowl. Kyle Juszczyk is golden. Jimmy G is golden. We got T.J. Beathard as a decent backup. At running back, isn't this an interesting situation? Carlos Hyde. What do we want to do with him? He is a free agent. Also have Pierre Garçon. Slow development now. 32 years old. Is he a free agent? I don't think that he is. Um, yeah, Aaron Lynch, Jimmy Garoppolo, Eric Reed. We'll get to Eric Reed in a moment. Offensively, also got Aldrich Robinson. Pretty bad. We got Trent Taylor. We're pretty much working with what we got. But Trent Taylor, as you can see, isn't all that bad. He's pretty good. Just awareness is low, which makes his overall low. Defensively, uh, Jimmy Ward, free safety, is usable for now. Eric Reed pretty much has to go. I know he's only 26, but slow development is terrible. We have Eli Harold, Navarro Bowman. I think pretty much has to go as well. I think we'll maybe try to trade him in the draft. It's like it's a happy medium between realistic and fantasy style. Um, Ray Ray Armstrong, I think pretty much has to go. He's 27. He just isn't all that good. We have Robin Foster. I want to move him to middle linebacker. He broke his wrist, though. And then on the defensive line, I think we're pretty much fine aside from Elvis Dumerville. I want to bring back Aaron Lynch, but I also kind of want to draft some guys on the D-line. And then at cornerback, Richard Robinson's maybe fine, but Dante Johnson and Kawan Williams and Keller Witherspoon, they're just not viable options. So I think we really have to make some moves here and um, and start being good. So first on the docket is dealing with Carlos Hyde. He's 27, coming off of a decent year. He's asking for four years, $24.5 million, essentially. He is injured. He doesn't really have that speed. He doesn't... I mean, he, he just, he's very balanced. He made the Pro Bowl. Do we really want to ditch a guy who just made the Pro Bowl? He's just so average, though. I would... Okay, okay, okay. It needs to go, needs to go. I think we really need to uh, consider our options here. Because just because we don't have Carlos Hyde anymore, the next best option is starting Matt Breida. And, I mean, Matt Breida, he showed burst for us. He is fast. He showed times in the games where he was really, really good. He averaged 3.1 yards per carry, 6 touchdowns, 7 broken tackles on 75 attempts. And some of that was the CPU. 
we're not really going to do a sign and trade because that doesn't happen in the NFL. That's more of an NBA thing. And I want to keep this somewhat realistic. We're going to offer Carlos Hyde a one-year prove-it deal where I will give him more money because it is a one-year deal. We have the money. It doesn't really matter. I will offer Carlos Hyde one year, six and a half per year, and he's going to test out free agency. That's fine. What would the franchise tag be? Just over what I was willing to pay him. We're going to hold on to that franchise tag, and we're going to deal with Jimmy Garoppolo. And we're going to give Jimmy Garoppolo a six-year deal worth 5.5, 2.8 on the signing bonus. Basically, 5.37 overall cap hit per, per this year for Jimmy Garoppolo. And Jimmy Garoppolo re-signs. That is the biggest thing of this entire offseason, is our franchise quarterback remains with the team. Okay, Aaron Lynch. At the very least, Aaron Lynch offers depth. He's 25 years old. I want to re-sign him. I don't want to pay him over three. We'll offer him 2.9. Aaron Lynch returns. Eric Reed. I want absolutely nothing to do with. Tank Carradine. 29. He's not particularly good anymore. I don't really want him. Kawan Williams, no. Kilgore, Fusco, Dante Johnson. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if you guys are thinking what I'm thinking. But, uh... He's no block shed. Dante Johnson might be an option for starting safety. Very low deal to bring him back. At 6-2... He's got decent zone coverage. He could be our safety. Because, I mean, you guys got to realize, like, this isn't a star-studded team. Keith Reeser, 27. Uh, I'm going to try to make the most out of our picks. But I think... Oh, man. Like, it seems like so many people are so split on Carlos Hyde in the chat, and I am as well. I'm going to franchise tag Carlos Hyde. One year, 7.16. It's a franchise tag. We're going to utilize it. We could eventually trade Carlos Hyde. That's on the table. Um, but we're not going to let him test the open market. So, off to free agency. Some people are pissed about Carlos Hyde. It's all right, guys. It's all right. He's back. We have to consider a couple of things. He just made the Pro Bowl. We got him on a one-year prove-it deal. We'll upgrade him later. That doesn't mean we can't draft a running back. This doesn't mean we can't... Um, let's see. I want to make sure... This doesn't mean we can't draft a running back still. I want to do, yeah, manual. Um, we could still draft a running back. We could still sign a running back. Just, you know, worth 7 mil, though. It's not about, like, wh whether he's worth 7 mil or not. Because if you think about it this way, we have the cap room, and it's for one year. So it doesn't really matter whether, um, whether we have the money or not. As we do, Teddy Bridgewater's here. Smoking Jay. I do want Spoken Jay on a one-year deal. He, add, he adds veteran leadership. Halfback, Jeremy Hill. Basically, Carlos Hyde 2.0. Yep. I don't necessarily want that. Eddie Lacy. Spencer Ware, I don't want. Charles Sims, Matt Forte. Jamal Charles is interesting. Basically, he's what we have. Like, we have Matt Breida. That's what Jamal Charles is at this point. Jarek McKinnon could be a decent option. He's basically Matt Breida, but older. You need to target some offensive linemen in free agency? Yes. Yes. Um, Mike Gillisley could be a decent goal line back. If I need to fire a trucking. Or Darkwa could be that. 
90 speed, 88 trucking, 90 acceleration, 88 carrying, 85 ball carry vision. I would offer Orleans Darkwood deal. Let's offer him that. We're going to low ball him, but not bad. Fullback, Nikita Whitlock. You don't need fullback. Wide receiver. Ooh, Marquise Lee is here. Marquise Lee is not bad, but Larry Fitzgerald on a one-year deal. 84 speed is so bad. He wants 10 mil. I mean, we have it on a two-year deal. I don't think I can sign Larry Fitzgerald. It's not in the best interest of the team for the long term. But Marquise Lee, quick development. Oh, man, I wish he had 90 speed. Where would this put us? 89 total points. I probably don't want to go much further than that. Josh Gordon. Slow development. Ugh, slow development is just so tough to work with. We're going to offer him a deal. Doesn't mean I have to be the highest on him, but we're going to offer him one. Vitz would be good in the slot. No, no. Cameron Brait. He's getting a monster deal from the Dolphins. I just can't compete with that. Antonio Gates, no. Virgil Green, Richard Rodgers. I mean, we have George Kittle. I'm comfortable there. Left tackle. Oh, man. There are not solid options. Xavier Suofilo might be like the best one that we can get. Ryan Jensen should be a higher overall. Zach Fulton, we're going to need to target. Ja Reed. We're going to target Zach Fulton for sure. 85 pass block is solid. We're going to up that deal too. Let's offer him that. 101. I'm comfortable offering that. Do not keep Kittle. Kittle has great speed. Um, and he's just a rookie last year. So even though he's coming off injury, he has a great potential. I mean, he wasn't great for this this year. but um, And he broke his fucking tibia. Jesus. But I'm not ready to upgrade over him. We do have Garrett Selleck. So, I mean, we're fine for a tight end for right now. We'll check Greg Robinson. Slow. I'm out. I'm out. Taron Jones. Taron Jones isn't terrible. I would offer Taron Jones a deal. Do you have slow? He is normal. Offer Xavier Suafalo that. Ryan, I mean, we can always draft centers because I don't really like any of these offers that are here. Or any of these play. Oh, actually, Spencer Long's kind of nice. What the hell? Let's offer Spencer Long that deal. Um, Let's go to the defense. Coney Ely could help out on the defensive line because Elvis Doomerville, I think, might retire. Ethan Westbrooks. Is that who you are? He's not that bad. Mm, defensive tackle. Don't really need help there for right now. To tone Dominique easily, though. He's not a bad option at defensive tackle. What can we offer you? I'm not going to go over that. Um, Jelani Jenkins, I don't really have an interest in. Don't really like that. Alec Ogletree. I'm going to offer Alec Ogletree a deal. I don't really want to pay him that much, though, so I'm not going to go over that. I, I Even though I'm basically saying we won't be able to get a lot of these players I'm offering deals on, that's fine, because I'm not going to go over. I don't... Bradley Roby, actually. Bradley Roby might have to be the move. Because I don't want Brent Grimes. I don't want Brent Grimes. I don't want Ross Cockrell. Bryce Callahan's probably pretty quick. 83 man, 26 years old. It's basically, do I want him or... Bradley Roby's just getting so much...
Let's offer that to Bryce Callahan. And that free safety, no one intriguing. Strong safety, TJ McDonald. Ooh, is this Aaron Williams? Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams is not bad. We might not get him, though. Jaquiski Tart wouldn't be a bad option to start. And then, um, I don't know. Let's get Matt Prater. Or actually. Did we go for the veteran? Sebastian Janikowski? Greg the Leg? Uh, let's go Brandon McManus. And let's go ahead and see who we get here. Let's see who is coming to San Francisco. Who are the next members of the 49ers? Not Dominique Easley. Not Zach Fulton. Not Al Gogletree. We get Spencer Long. We get Brandon McManus. We get Josh Gordon. We get Orleans Darkwa. We get Smokin' Jay. And we don't get Marquise Lee. Very interesting players. Very interesting development. Spencer Long. I very much like what he brings to the table. 86 pass block, 84 impact blocking, 88 strength at center. Even if we don't end up playing him there, because again, I don't know how the draft is going to play out. But that's not a bad move. But what about this storyline? Josh Gordon. What's going on, Haley? And of course, Smokin' Jay. That's a winner right there. Interesting developments. Defensively, do we get any new player? Ruben Foster's back. That's good to see. No new cornerbacks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have someone who is not allocated for. All right, so these are the scouted players. Craig Dallenbach, or Dellenbach, obviously looks really good. We don't need a quarterback. We got Taiwan Fair. Looks like a tremendous linebacker. We pick fourth in the first round. Look at Trey Schumann out of Notre Dame. He's solid. Am I going to change player names in the draft because it's semi-realistic? No. No. Let's look at halfback. Allen Overstreet. Four. Hmm. Hold on here. Have 4 3 4 speed and Joey Cummings. A lot of jokes to be made here, too, if we take him. He's coming so fast. <laughs> Arian Newman isn't bad either. Um, oh. No. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Darian Gardner. Very upsetting. Moonlight Swami got Joey Cummings. Interesting. Um, we don't need a fullback. Wide receiver. 429 speed and it's the second fastest? Hold on. We are now in search of 429 speed or faster. Who in here is running 428? I don't believe that. Where is 428 speed? We got a baller down here. Skip the combine. There's 429, and it's third. Damn, that's a pretty fucking good vertical. We'll keep an eye on him. Where is 429 speed? 426, Sanchez Heaney. He's really not. Why, are, why is he supposed to go undrafted? Why is he supposed to go undrafted? He looks solid. And he's fast as hell. Sanchez Heaney, we're going to keep an eye on you. Bruce Kamala. We don't really need a, a tight end. Uh, 
Um, all right, offensive line is a big thing to me. Basically, this is just combine grade, and by combine grade, I mean guys that can put up a lot of uh, on the bench press. Give me like thirty-five. Can no one put up thirty-five? There's thirty-five. You're the fourth. I'm not gonna take one in the second though, really. We'll look at other positions. Thirty. Oh boy. Eh. That was upsetting. He went downhill quickly. Twenty-four. Show me something. Josh or Josiah. Josiah's on my board. For sure. Marvin Bennett? No. Chance Fordham? No. Zach Kubiak. Wow, he looks pretty good too. Maybe he knows Gary Kubiak. Who knows? These are some higher combine grades. 6'1, 35. Oh, you're so well rounded. VJ Pools, the man. Oh my god, Frank Burke, don't do it to me. We have a couple picks near the uh near the end there. Kinda like what that would offer us. Go to the next week. All right, Bryce Callahan rejects. Xavier Suafalo also rejects. All right. So Bennett's short at strong safety. He looks very solid. Casey Smelter also looks solid. Lawrence Montgomery. What about Dontavia Randolph? Very slow. Not bad, though, especially in the fifth round. 4-4-2 speed. Not a great start for me there, Daniel. What about free safety? Didn't really scout too many of these. That's a pretty good... Jesus Christ. That's quite a combine you put in there, Tyler. 471. I don't want to like put 471 speed out there. I need players who are at least a little bit faster. Jeez. It's like a cornerback. Trey Pierre Paul. Decent. What about Willis? Oh, Willis Burdine. I'm liking the top three skills. They're not elite, but they're pretty good. 5'11", 427 speed. What about Dixon Biaka Batuga? He's all right. Speed's important to me. It really is. Frank Heyman isn't terrible. I already watched Aaron Merritt. He's not bad either. Okay, Marcus Calhoun from Cal is another guy to watch. That is a name to watch. Eric McCune. What are we even looking at here? Let's go back to the middle linebacker. Malcolm Meadows is a name to watch. Alex Scott, you are horrific. All right, I am just putting a lot of points into some of these guys. Four eight four speed isn't fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and advance to the next week. All right, one more week before the draft. We haven't looked a lot at wide receiver. Give me some big bodies. Six four four. F That's another guy we're gonna watch. I went after some bigger guys. Six, whoa, six, six. Four, five, one speed. It's not that good, though. Why are these guys supposed to go undrafted? They aren't bad. Yeah, this is back uh, when everyone was undrafted in these, uh, or supposed to be. Look at the D-line now. Shaden Wilfork is someone that looks incredible. Hmm. All right. It's pretty much draft time.
A lot of guys back from injury. But we're ready for the NFL draft. Here we go. We pick fourth. We're not trading up, so we're just going to simulate right there and pause the draft. Fair was someone we were looking at. So was Schumann. So it's annoying that those two are off the board. Let's see. We didn't even look at this guy. 6'4". Hmm. Don't know enough about him. Willis Birdine is someone that's high on my board right now. But I'm not even sure I'm going to take this pick. What are my trade down offers? Because I will trade down out of the top five. Bears are offering me... Let's see. A first and a second next year. Give me picks this year. So we'll pick up a four if we trade down a nine. I want 2018 picks. Picking up a third wouldn't be bad. This is this is the best option. Trading out with the Saints to pick number 11. Picking up a third and a fifth in the process. Moving down. Moving down. All right. Down to 11. And uh, Burdine, the cornerback I was looking at, is still on the board. He's who I would have taken at four. And here he is at number 11. He doesn't scream amazing, though, which is, is tough. Bennett Short, he's a pretty good player. He'd be fun to play with. Definitely don't need him on the board. No quarterbacks. Arian Newman isn't a bad player. Joey Cummings looks really good. Eric McCune looks okay. I think I'm going to go with the developmental player here. Willis Burdine. Doesn't look amazing, but he has the speed. He can press. His coverages are somewhat there. There we go. He's a 78 overall. 96 speed. That's really what I care about. 78 man, 79 zone. We knew they'd be in that range. 91 press, 89 acceleration, 89 agility. We could even have this guy returning kicks. Not terrible. Immediately becomes our best cornerback. All right, round two. Joey Cummings is still on the board. Joey Cummings is still on the board. That worries me almost. Do we just get a really good player fall to us? Is there something wrong with him? Don't have a lot of guys scouted here in the second. I'm going to take Joey Cummings. 4-3-4 four, four speed. He's got A elusiveness. We're going to take him. Slow development, yeah. Ranked number 34. We take him at 36. 95 speed. 89 acceleration, 85 carrying, 82 ball carry vision, 78 spin move, 85 juke. 94 elusiveness is very, very good. That slow development is going to hurt him, though. Um, he'll probably be a third down back for the first year behind Carlos Hyde. So, not terrible, just not ideal. Not what we really want. He's okay. All right, here we are at pick number 11. I don't really have anyone in this range that I've scouted. I didn't scout very well. That's that's immediately apparent to me. Um, I think I'm going to trade this pick down. Is no one offering a one? Seahawks are offering a first. I'm going to take the first from Seattle. I think that has the most value. Fix the line. I'm working on it, all right? Believe me, I'm working on it. Do I have anyone in this range? We looked at Kalan Adkins. He looked very good, but he's supposed to go undrafted. So, like, that's not great. I want to draft him, though. I want him on the team. I don't even care if he's bad. He's a developmental player. We know where he's good. I'm going to trade this pick down. 
Why are they offering me it? Why would I do that? No. I want a second. Redskins are offering me a second in 2019. Seahawks are, offering, are also offering me a fourth if I get their second next year. And a seventh. More players. I'm going to take it with Seattle. Yeah, we just get the Seahawks' entire draft next year. And I'm going to take the player. I know, like, he's supposed to go undrafted. I would never do this in a rebuild. But because I know we can develop him here, he's 6'4". He's got decent top three skills. 4'4", four, four, two speed. We're going to take him. Kalan Adkins. I know, I know, I know. I knew the overall would be terrible. But it, it, this is such a reach, I'm aware. But here's what I see. 6'4", 91 speed, 88 catching. 92 acceleration, 83 catch and traffic, 80 spectacular catch, 90 jumping. Now, his 58 awareness and 66 route running are bringing him down quite a lot. And release isn't great either. But it's a developmental player. Um, I'm fine with it. I, I know people aren't a fan of that. I knew it was going to be bad. I'd never do it in a rebuild for that exact reason. But because we can develop him and get him targets, and he does have good catching and good speed, you can't teach 6'4 with 91 speed. So I thought it would is a decent pick. I'm not mad about it. Zach Kubiak is next, next, though. Looks very good. No pass block. We can develop that. Zach Kubiak is on the team. There we go. Now it's looking a little bit better, all right? Now it's looking better. 16th overall player, ranked, or excuse me, drafted him at 106, 92 strength, 86 run block, 75 pass block, 92 impact blocking, 81 acceleration. The thing is, you have to draft in like an actual franchise differently than the way you do it in a rebuild. Got to understand that. Uh, I am comfortable with every single pick so far. I care more about speed and the height than I would normally in a rebuild, but those are things that you got to think about. So, I'm fine with the way this draft has gone. Lawrence Montgomery is an interesting player. I just don't have zone coverage, and that's something I'd really like to have. He's a playmaker. 4-4-8 four, four, speed. Dontavia Randolph, I have Scouty just slower. Frank Heyman looks decent. Um, but Aaron Merritt, I think, is the better cornerback of the two. All right, let's... What are our picks? We have a 4, a 5, and a 6 coming up. And then a bunch of 7s. So, who can I not miss out on? These guys look like the exact same. But I think Aaron Merritt's a bit better. Morgan Harmon, 4, 5, 8 speed. He really isn't bad. He can hit. He'd play strong safety more than likely. You're saying go for the baller? That's a very ballsy pick, and I'm not willing to do that. Frank Burke is good. I can pick him up later. So it's one of these fifth-round guys. And I don't necessarily want uh, Randolph. Sanchez Heaney can go in the seventh. I do want him a lot. You can't teach 4-2-6 speed. Also, great top three skills, too, even if his overall is bad. Overall, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go, hold on, Let's see available players. I really want Lawrence Montgomery, though, the more that I look at him. Um, Frank Heyman, no, fucking get off my board. You're terrible. We're going Aaron Merritt. I'll take it. 6'1", 92 speed. 86 press, 75 man, 79 zone. Decent player here in the fourth round. Not mad about it. Good cornerback. Uh, he'll also maybe come in and start. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. All right, round five. He had 49 play rec. Be able to boost that. <laughs> Jesus. Matt Newhouse is a player that I wanted, though. He skipped the combine. He's supposed to go undrafted. Uh, we're in the fifth now. Who's on the draft board? 
See, this guy, Marcus Calhoun's another really good cornerback option. Forgot he was there. He had 77 hit power? Really? So we're in the fifth. We don't pick again for a while. I'm going to probably let these guys go. Like, this is very tempting to me, but I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on that. We're going to go best available player that I have watched that I want to take. Thomas Renfrey, I think it's going to be. 4.79 speed, though. I'm going to take Frank Burke. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm going to take VJ Poole. Ranked number 25 in the class. We take him at 139, 87 strength, 84 run block, 74 pass block, 84 impact blocking. Low awareness. I'll be able to boost him pretty easily. All right, now we get to round six. Burke just went off the board. That's fine. Morgan Harmon. Hold on. We don't pick for a while. Do I, do I want Josiah Mahaffey? Or do I want Morgan Harmon? 4.58 speed. What is 4.58 speed equal? That's probably what? Like 88? 87? Probably 87. Uh, Mahaffey would help out the offensive line. We've picked a right guard and a right tackle. Is there anyone else down here? I do want Sanchez Heaney. We're going to go offensive line purely because it's a bigger need, I think. 75 overall, ranked number 42 in the class. Take him at 164. 87 strength, 75 run block, 82 pass block, 87 impact blocking. Decent offensive lineman. And now to the seventh round. Who's available? Sanchez Heaney's here. So is Marcus Calhoun. Marcus Calhoun matters more to me. Like, a lot more. Where's Sanchez Heaney in terms of why? He's the number one receiver available. God. He just looks so good. Very strong, too. Marcus Calhoun. Yes. Oh, very happy. Play Rex low. 91 speed, 82 man, 81 zone. More than I could have asked for. Solid player. And um, I hope Sanchez does not go off the board. But I think I would I'd rather the pick that I just took. He's still going to be available. All right. All right. Here he is. Sanchez Heaney. 67 overall. We knew it would be bad. He looks absolutely ridiculous, though. 97 speed, 80 catching, 97 acceleration, 81 catching traffic, 87 spectacular catch. Got to upgrade route running, got to upgrade awareness, got to upgrade release, but he's a ridiculous player. Very, very happy with this pick. Overall, it means nothing. You got to check the actual attributes. Very happy with this pick. All right. Got to make the most out of these picks down here. Do we even have anyone on the board we still want? Pretty much no. No one left on the draft board. Speed back that's that strong, that fast. We'll take him. 68. Whatever. I mean, 95 speed, 94 XL. Doesn't look that bad. And I think our last pick of the draft... Let's make it count. Kind of want to go safety here. Let's go on undrafted safety. Who's the, who has the most potential? Probably someone with speed. 4-5-1 isn't great. 4-4-8. Dawson Bailey's the pick right now. 4-4-4. Got a feeling about Dawson Bailey, though. Strong, fast, can jump. Dawson Bailey... Dang, he's actually not bad. 90 speed, 75 zone, 80 hit power. Not bad for an undrafted player. And that is the draft. It was interesting. It was a very interesting draft. I don't think the overalls tell the full story. 
Like, obviously, we do have some higher overalls in there, but I'm almost more excited about the ones who aren't high overalls. Like, I think Dawson Bailey is very interesting at safety. I think um, Aaron Merritt could be very good. 49 play Rex, terrible. 86 press. He could play safety if he has the good hit power. Someone, 77 hit power. Like, that's pretty ridiculous. Can he tackle, though? What's his tackling? 69. That's not even that bad. 6-1. Can he play starting safety for us? Viewbot? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm viewbotting hard. I definitely don't have 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and came out for a serious stream. Good call. Okay, let's everyone in the chat show how much of a viewbot I have right now. Let's show up in the chat, please. In the meantime, George Kittle still injured. Out for the next seven weeks. We're going to go ahead and check around the league. Um... See who the highest overall was. Craig Dallenbach is an 82. Superstar development. Um, let's see. Casey Smelter. We're looking at him. He actually turned out pretty good. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have drafted them, though. Let's see Javante Hubbard. Fine. Kyrie Lynch. Lions had a terrible class. Eric McCune, who you're looking at. Slow development. All right. Somewhat dodgeable. Shadon Wolfwork, I was really looking at. He's sick. We pretty much knew that, though. Let's see. Are we looking at Taiwan Fair? Yeah, he's ridiculous. We knew that he would be. Didn't have the opportunity to draft him. Otherwise, may have done that. Bennett Short. Ah, shit. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a miss. That's a miss one. He's very, very good. Um, He's ridiculous. That would be a player to get. Check the Panthers, the baller. I don't even remember his name. So we saw that. Texans. Got nobody. Titans. Arian at Newman. He's pretty good. Bears. Got Frank Burke in the sixth. Very good. We knew that he would be. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Mitchell Anderson looks pretty good. Moses Wooten. Quick. Yeah, he's pretty he's pretty good. Also looking at Malcolm Meadows, almost went with him. Decided not to. Trey Pierre Paul, we almost drafted. He's pretty good as well. Colts, and eh, whatever. Darian Pittman. Wow. Mm, wish he had wish he was faster. I mean you can't upgrade that speed ever. Pretty much. Falcons, Christian Wright. And we're back to the Niners. I didn't really see any crazy draft picks. Didn't want to trade Navarro Bowman? Yes. I don't know when that would be, though. All right, um... So that's a rookie halfback we drafted, Joey Cummings. He's going to probably play above Orleans Darkwa. Smoking Jay on the team. Let's go ahead and upgrade our players now and see where everyone fits on the team. Mahaffey can play left guard. What is your overall at left guard? 76, it's solid. The new look offensive line is not bad. Starting three rookies. Trent Brown is the only one that stays on the O-line. we got to upgrade run block for him. 
He goes up to a 78. Try and trade Darkwa. Just signed him. Uh, don't want to do that. George Kittle's back. What's the biggest thing for George Kittle? Awareness? Let's do route running. 76. Let's see. Time to upgrade Carlos Hyde. We franchise tagged him. I don't even know where we can upgrade him, to be honest. Spin move now at 91. We'll make it a 92. Lose up to an 86. Long has nice stats for 77. That's very true. Marquise Goodwin. Time to upgrade him. He goes up to a 75. That uh, route running is going to help out, though. Carrying look cheap. He hasn't really fumbled the entire series, though. How many fumbles did he have? In, uh, and some of this will be from CPU. He fumbled the ball once the entire season. So. Let's go upgrade it. Kyle at use check. Run block. Boom. Heaney in the slot. We're going to figure out what we're doing at wide receiver. Pierre Garçon might have to get cut. He is 32. Slow development. We're going to add him to the trade block, actually. Aldrick Robinson. Thanks, but no thanks. He is cut. We'll see if we can get any offers, Pierre Garçon. If not, I might cut him. We can't even upgrade anything but <laughs> release. Or whatever that was. How is Pierre Garçon slow development? I'm not sure. We're going to go ahead and advance a week. Because we don't start until the regular season anyway. We do have trade offers for Pierre Garçon. I will pretty much accept anything. Round two and a five. Bengals should be worse. We will accept a second rounder for Pierre Garçon and a fifth. So the new receiving situation, is that Aaron Burbridge? <laughs> Why are you here? Kalan Adkins will be our wide receiver four, or five, I think. But he could be a really big red zone threat, six, four. We basically, I mean, Josh Gordon's a new number one. Marquise Goodwin's going to be out there at the number two. We have Trent Taylor. Can be the number four, probably. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to have to carry the team. That's for sure. Let's do that. Jimmy G up to an 80. What are you looking like as a receiver? Nope. Absolutely not. Defensively, a lot of new players out here, including rookie Willis Burdine. I like it. Dante Johnson is making the move to strong safety. Where he is a 67 overall. I need Dawson Bailey to make some moves because Jaquiski Tart, he's all right. I don't really like Jimmy Ward on the team, I'm going to be honest. And he has slow development. God, Jimmy, you're killing me. Navarro Bowman will also be added to the trade block. Elvis Doomerville will also be added to the trade block. Check with the corners at, say, 277 hit power. All right. We'll do that. I think it's Aaron Merritt. Yeah. Let's see what you are at safety. Put Ward at cornerback. He would fit that profile. I'm not sure I want to do that. He doesn't even show up. He just disappears. Hold on, Aaron. Go back to cornerback. He's a 66 overall. 
He looks decent. It's just play rec is so low. Play Eli Harold at outside linebacker over Ray Ray Armstrong. Well, we're in a 4-3. Where if we were in a 3-4, that would make a lot of sense. But Eli Harold is an edge rusher. Not like a real 4-3 linebacker. So he doesn't really fit the profile that well. Man, he's not even good at <laughs> His finesse moves aren't even good. He, we could actually play him. He's just so bad in, in coverage. Or Ray Ray Armstrong at least holds his own. Isn't Play Rick really cheap to upgrade? Yeah, it is. It's not a huge worry for me. We just need him to get the XP. Let's go ahead and advance another week. Trade offers for Navarro Bowman. He was cut in real life. Janu Smith? Yo. Hold on. Ooh, okay. There are some interesting offers here in terms of players. Anthony Walker. Janu Smith intrigues me. So does Matthew Judon, but not really. But Janu Smith intrigues me a lot. Hold the phone just a moment here. Janu Smith. Coming off of his rookie year, 85 speed, 76 catching, 76 hit in traffic, 74 spec catch, 62 route run would have to get upgraded. 88 jumping at 6'3". What is your run block? Am I 72? 72? He would come in and start at tight end immediately. I think I'm going to do that. I think Johnny Smith would be pretty valuable for us. See, that's, uh, what was that, Josh Johnson? Like, I can see, like, I thought about that trade, too. He does okay in free agency. Why? It's not, I don't want to say, is it Gerard? No, it can't be. No, it's John Johnson. There it is. Yeah, John Johnson. 85 speed, 79 zone, 85 hit power. That'd be a good option, too. Do I, do I want to start him, though? 85 speed isn't that great. So we want John Johnson. The thing is, like, we have George Kittle at tight end. Who could be our, our guy. But defensively, and I keep touching my nose, I've noticed. Um, is Jaquiski Tart the guy? So Jaquiski Tart has better speed significantly... Worse coverage by six, and then more hit power. I think I'm going to go Janu Smith. Run uh, two tight end sets occasionally. Janu Smith is the newest member of the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with Jaquiski. That's strong safety. He's very good in real life. Elvis Doomerville. Has been released. Aaron Lynch will come in. That looks much better. And we drafted Calhoun. He looks good too. That's a decent group of four corners. And we'll... Uh, We'll send Dawson Bailey to play free safety. So we'll do that. Let's go to the next week. Let's see how players are playing in a preseason. We are one and two. And we gotta cut six players. Well, you're horrific. We don't need any more receivers. Oh, I'm just pressing buttons now. We're going to keep DJ Jones, I think. 
Matt Breida can stay. Earl Mitchell can go. We need to cut two more. Don't need a halfback. I'm also going to cut Xavier Cooper. All right. Let's check out the stats. That's something I forgot to show. Smoking Jay is going off. <laughs> he is beasting. Look at Smoking Jay go. Five touchdowns to only one interception. 436 yards. Oh, you're killing it. Carlos Hyde kind of sucks still. Why is Why does he still have that many carries? Where is our drafted running back? Joey Cummings has zero carries? The fuck? Why is that a thing? Receiving. Josh Gordon, no touchdowns. But look at Kalan Adkins. Eight catches for 166 yards and two TDs. Okay, Kalan Adkins, I see you. What about Sanchez Heaney? Five for 47, one touchdown. Dude, Kalan Adkins kind of went off. Eight, most yards, most average yards per reception. Highest per game. Most touchdowns. George Kittle also had two. Who let up the most sacks? John Theus, rookie VJ Poole. That's tough. Defensively, Dante Johnson led in tackles. Marcus Calhoun has a few. Tackles for loss, three for DeForest Buckner. Quarterback sacks, one for Reuben Foster. He's going to get moved to middle linebacker. I don't want him rushing the passer ever. Interceptions. Two for Jaquiski Tart. All right. The move is already paying off. He knew that he had the potential to get traded. He comes out here, and he performs. I like to see it. Let's do that. Let's do boom that. Actually, you know what? Kalan Atkins has played so well. Sorry, Trent Taylor. You're going to go to wide receiver five. Johnu Smith, all right. And Trent Brown at left. That's fine. Center, Spencer Long. Kubiak at right guard. Right tackle is rookie VJ Poole. We're golden. Left end, we're fine. Defensive tackle, we're golden. Left outside linebacker. Um, since that's going to pass rush occasionally, we will move Eli Harold there. Right outside linebacker could still be Ray Ray Armstrong. Cornerback. Move Aaron Merritt there. Calhoun at number... Wait, do I want Calhoun there or do I want... I want Merritt there. Free safety, Jimmy Ward. Dawson Bailey, strong safety. I also want Dawson Bailey. Kicker, Robbie... Go no, Brandon McManus. Are you kidding me? Punter, Bradley Pinion. Kick returner is Sanchez Heaney and Joey Cummings. I love that. Punt returner, Sanchez Heaney. Kickoff specialist, Brandon McManus. Long snapper. Let's put a rookie out there. Let's do uh, Josiah Mahaffey. Third down running back will be Joey Cummings. Practice squad. We have Jeremy McNichols. That's right. DeAndre Smelter is still here. Ben Bulware. That's wild. Asa Jackson. All right. Ruben Foster isn't starting. Um, he's going to be moved to middle, so I figured I'll just do it this way. Boom. Ruben Foster, two middle linebacker, number two. Sure, his overall goes down. He's the same player. It doesn't matter. So that is the team. Let's see them in some preseason action. Let's see how they play. We're 76 overall. I'm not, I haven't adjusted the sliders yet. This is, might be easier than I want it to be. We're going to change stuff coming soon. Hammy Buck Twins, thank you for resubbing. Three months in a row. I love it. What's going on, man? We're going to see how these players look in action. We're probably not going to play the full game. Just to get a taste of it. And we'll see how things go.
I'm excited, man. Got a lot of potential here. What do you guys think of the overall uh, offseason so far? I mean, it's pretty much over. We're in the next season. But what do you What do you all think? What is this straw poll, James? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is that? Phillip Rivers coming out. We're going to see a lot of new players make their uh, appearances on the team. Aaron Lynch starting. We got Ruben Foster, Eli Harold, Chiquisky Tart out there. There's Rashard Robinson. We know him. Get over there, Ruben. What? <laughs> okay. And someone's already injured in preseason. Tell me it's not Ruben. No, Ruben's out there. We got a rookie corner out there. Willis Burdine. Burdine. I don't know how I want to pronounce that. I haven't decided. Those spins are ridiculous. Am I feeling better? I am a little bit, Attica. Thank you. I can speak again finally. What record am I setting for the team this year? That all depends. So I, I just got real. I just like fucking got the thousand yard stare. I uh, just really was just thrown off my game. I just saw like. Four deer just walk right outside my window. We're gonna put in Malcolm Smith. So I just got really uh I just I, I just got thrown off. Um this will be up later on YouTube if you guys missed any of it. So not to worry. There will be an edited version and there'll be a non edited version. Jesus. So bad. Deer, yes. Uh, where, where is anyone? Trevor Williams inside the five. Phillip Rivers ought to a, a hot start against these 49ers. In Jersey, yes. There are a tremendous amount of deer in the New Jersey area. Make the play. Oh my god, Richard Robinson. Can we not tackle him in the end zone, please? Alright, first and goal on the one. All right, 49ers. We're run committing. Show us what you're worth. Let's go. Big stop. Who is that? Who's 20? Is that the rookie out of wherever? Willis Burdine? That would be. He came up and made that play. All right, second and goal. He's running up the middle. All right. Solomon Thomas brings him down at the one. Goal line stand. Third and goal. If they pass, we're kind of screwed. I'm not going to run commit. It just... Uh. First and goal on the one. It's, it's hard to make the stop. They got it. All right, we'll see what Jimmy G can do. Fake Texas fan, I had no interest in watching a bowl game that doesn't mean anything after a six-win season. Thanks, though. All right, Sanchez Heaney, 96 speed. Wow, that's a ridiculous spin. I didn't even try to go that way. All right, we have multiple tight ends now. Jonu Smith, George Kittle, Brent Selleck all out there with Josh Gordon split out wide. We're going to go underneath. I am not on the PS4. <laughs> I saw X. I've been playing too much PS4. 
I pressed fucking A. Oh, man. That's, that's ridiculous. All right. Let's, let's know my controls, please. This is what I wanted to do. Jimmy! I can make that throw with ease. Now it's third and ten. This is what I deal with, guys. This is what I cut out of the franchise videos. It's fucking ridiculously easy throws missed. Play action. Jimmy, there it is. It's Janu Smith. Give me a block. Go, Janu. Janu has no stamina, but he's into the end zone for the touchdown. All right. All right. We had a tie ball game. Jimmy G making it look too easy. Have I missed the extra point? All right, we're good. What overall is Smith? I think he's a 78. Get some Janu hype in the chat. You, John, knew that was coming, and you couldn't stop it. That was bad. See, a rookie, second-year player. Second-year player. Out of uh, FIU, I think. Florida International. Throw the ball, Philip Rivers, you kaya. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this game? What is this game, dude? Solomon Thomas had him in the backfield. In the backfield, dude. I'll gladly take that. Why am I playing preseason? We're just seeing how the team's playing. We're just seeing. Getting getting a look at some of these new players. Oh my god, he just cut back. That's a great tackle. Who made that tackle? Is that the rookie Merritt? Is that unknown first name, last name Merritt? I think it was. 24? All right. Once again, I see you. Oh! Ah! That's very frustrating. Aaron Merritt? All right, my B. My B. I appreciate you guys remembering. Oh my god, Ray Ray Armstrong, please do not do this to me. It is in your hands. <sighs> All right, going to be what? Third and 3, third and 2 maybe. Third and 2. Who approached who for the Cover 2 podcast? I believe Swami approached me. If I recall. Oh, let's go! Sack! It's Aaron Lynch forcing a field goal. That is crucial. We're about to see a lot of backups after the first quarter. A lot of backups are going to start going in. All right. Sanchez Heaney back out there. Here we go. The explosive rookie. Oh, my goodness. Sanchez Heaney. The burners. Couldn't get out there. Good return, though, to the 40. I'll take that. All right. Jimmy Garoppolo back out there. Josh Gordon. We had Kalan Adkins. Preseason standout thus far. We're going to go underneath, though. It's Marquise Goodwin. I'll take the completion. And I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to step out for, yes, you guessed it, smoking Jay Cutler. It's go time, baby. 
It is go time. Smoking Jay Cutler is coming into the game, and he is taking over. Is he in? Is it smoking Jay time? Oh, you best believe we're streaking Kalan Adkins. Jay Cutler has one play, and it's the deep ball. We're going deep. Kalan Adkins, make a play. Ah. All right. There was a lot of hype for that result. That's a good ball, though. It's a good ball. All right, third and two. Go, Jay. Oh, my God, we have no read. Jay Cutler, the wheels! Move the chains! It's smoking Jay Cutler! Oh, baby. They call him smoking Jay because he leaves other guys in the dust with the burners. Literal smoke off the back of his cleats. First and ten. Handoff, it's Cummings. The rookie, he just slipped over nothing. There's a flag, though. It's a hold. Who's it on? John Theus. Fucking. Oh. All right. First and 20 now. We're going. Jay Cull. Back on defense. That was ridiculously inaccurate. Oh, it's play action. Oh my god, why is this not ultimate team? Dude, I'm right there. It's Cardell Jones. To Darren Fells. Could be Daniel, I'm not really sure. Because they're, they're brothers. Smoking CJ. I like that a lot. <laughs> Alright, second and two. We've been backed up to this position before. I mean, we're not backed up here, but... Alright, okay. I don't really know what happened there. I think I was supposed to be a handoff. Oh, baby! No! No! Come on! Who's supposed to be there? You're killing me. It's Mike Williams. Alright. 17-7. I mean, bottom line is we're just a worse team. As Orleans Dark was back there. I tried to just end his career with a truck. I don't know if you guys saw that. Didn't work. All right, we're back on offense. Uh, looks like Jay Cutler is not making the walk out there. He could be injured. We don't know. Go, CJ Bethard. Okay. All right, 15 yards on the ground. I like it. Oh, he's hyped too. Okay. All right, CJ. One play at a time. Smoking CJ. I'm a big fan of that. Let's try to target Kalan Adkins, maybe. We're throwing it to him. It's Kalan Adkins! He's a bulldozer. 43 yards down the field, and that is a lot of deer. 
Those are a lot of deer out there. All right. Kalan Adkins, though. As we give the ball to our potential future franchise running back in, again, mm, unknown first name, last name, Cummings, first initial J. If that gives anything away. I'm going to go Adkins again. Uh, all right. I'm going to take responsibility for that one. Can anyone catch Josh Perry, please? George Kittle's giving it at all. That was just, that was my bad. That's my bad. That was poor. That was that was poor. That was, that was what happened. <laughs> Smoking bangle, yeah. I was I was not good. I was not good. Joey, that's it. Joey Cummings. All right. Why is George Kittle returning kicks? Jesus, who is making these decisions? I was just so intent on throwing the ball to Kalad Adkins. I didn't care how covered he was. The ball was just being thrown at him, no matter what. Oh, what a... Why is Orleans Darkwa out there? Can anyone tell me this answer? That was a perfectly thrown ball. Come on, Joey. Oh, we got a gap here. Joey Cummings. All right. Okay. We got something going here. I like it. He looks like Deion Sanders a lot. So Orleans Dark was in the... Jesus Christ. Who is that? Mr. Gigantic Body, Small Ass Head. Fields? I don't know, man. We might give Kalan Adkins a 50-50 ball. It would not be a good decision. B is open. Just block. Just block. Go, CJ! CJ! Oh, yeah, baby. All right, we're getting something going here. About third time. All right, we're going to slide. I really thought I was going to get another block there. Three rushes, 60 yards. Let's go, baby. He's smoking hot. You're damn right he is. Snap the ball. Oh, God. <laughs> this Fields fella. I'm not a fan. There we go. Second and 17. We're going to throw that on the outside. Oh, all right, Bethard. We know what you can do with your legs. A little bit questionable with the arm right now. A little bit questionable. Oh, it's going to be open. Throw the ball! That's tough. That's tough. We're going to get Brandon McManus on this one, on the field goal. There we go. All right, 24-10. We got three timeouts. We could we get back in this game. Hypothetically, if we were to stop them before half, which is unlikely, but doable, we're going to utilize our timeouts. I mean, we could be in position here for... Uh, for some points, 24-17 before half. Why is that so open? Oh, fuck. Take the ball, Calhoun. All right. We're gonna we're gonna assess what happened there on the uh, on the on the replay. All 
Ah, classic. <laughs> this is a great play by Cardell Jones. Take the ball. You're killing me. Let's get Jeremiah George in here. Second and three. We can still get the football back. It is literally sucking me down. And I, I again, only go for hit six. Five for five, 96 yards and a touchdown. Like, the CPU is impossible sometimes because they do not miss throws. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, it's just, it's just so... I don't even know what to do. You're killing me, dude. They have Young Hoku. Unreal. Unbelievable. All right. We got Joey Cummings returning kicks. Not a great spin move. All right. Odd return. Tried to make something happen. Let's try a little slip screen. Oh, it's Orleans Darkwa. That is a letdown. Call timeout. Five seconds. Not really sure how we can score here. See what the classic. Try to get him in Tampa 2. HB wheel. Alright, Adkins. We'll take the yardage. Pad the stats. Alright, second half action. We return. Only down 31 to 10. We can come back. Oh, Joey Cummings almost had the outside. All right. Here we go. Joey Cummings still the running back. Oh, look at the spin. Joey Cummings. First down. And there's an injury. Please do not let it be a 49er. HB wheel. Kalan Adkins, I need you. Just need I just need a half a second more. And we have it. We're running again. Oh, shit. Go, Bethard. Oh, shit. Okay. He did not fumble the ball. That is a surprise. Alright, third and two. Bethard wheels are the best way to win the game. There's the underneath. It's Kalan Adkins. First down. Hey, we're cooking now. We're cooking. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow. Pressure got in really, really quickly. Not a huge fan of that.
That's very poor. All right, third and ten. Let's see what the CPU wants. We'll go verticals. Maybe. I mean, we got Orleans Darkway in there. That's not great. Oh, we're going to make that throw. Oh, no. I need that to stay in bounds, please, CJ. I need you to give me a chance here. We're going to go for it. Down 21. There's one man who I trust with the football, and it's smoking Jay Cutler. George Kittle is my read over the middle. George! Touchdown. We're still in it. Do I always run three plays? No. I like it. This will fail. That's a great call in the chat. Total fail. That's why we bring in smoking Jay Cutler in those situations. Off the crossbar. Still a ball game. Okay, good tackle. Gardner, we almost drafted him. He has two touchdowns in this game. All right. Oh, Ronald Blair. If the flag is for holding on the offense, I might decline. I mean, it wouldn't be defensive holding in this situation. It's holding on the offense. I think I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm going to take 3rd and 12 over 2nd and 19. Let's hope we can stop him. He's going deep. Oh my goodness, please. Why are you slowing down, Bailey? That's fine, though. We'll get the punt. That's great. Who's back there? It's Josh. Nope. Joey Cummings. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it soon. Joey Cummings. The rookie running back out of somewhere. Man, I am really off my game. There's a spin move back. Courageous effort. Is that Champ Bailey? Uh, no, it is not Champ Bailey. In front of screen. Who's receiving it? It's going to be Trent Taylor. I have no faith that this will work. There it is. Trent Taylor. Not a great spin move. I'll admit it. Man, I'm looking at Kalon Adkins, dude. It's looking sharp. I don't, I, it's, uh, just pressure gets in so quickly. I gotta mess with the sliders to make this more, uh, more realistic. Go, Trent. I was third down. It's four down territory. Hurry up. I really got to pay more attention to the situation. No. Uh... There we go, Kalan. First down. We're stay out of the hurry up. CJ Beathard is feeling it. Check out seams. Check out Kalan Adkins up the seam. Fucking hell! God! He's beaten so quickly! All 
Okay. Play action. They sent a fucking blitz. What? Is, who is that to, CJ? They're screaming at me out here. And I'm not really even choosing plays. <coughs> Jesus Christ. The verticals. Kalan Atkins will run the slant. Cummings on a wheel, because that's not going to do anything. Uh, that, was a, that was a poor possession. Yeah, we're going to fake the punt. Because uh, it's preseason. And I'm pretty much bored anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, a killer witherspoon just got fucking destroyed. Alright. If only Bradley Pinion wasn't as shitty as he is. It could have been something there. Oh, let's go. Finally pressure on the quarterback. It's our starter playing in the third quarter, Eric Armstead. Ruben Foster is still out here too, or he was. I don't know where he is now. All right, Johnson, way to wrap up. Cardell, seven for eight. Oh my God. That's so open. Oh my goodness, he throws to no one. Eric Armstead, again, wraps up the quarterback, and we're somehow, we're somehow still in this game. I do not believe it. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter, though. That's a pretty good punt. Ah, only on the 19. I thought it was worse or better. Worse for us, I mean. All right. Eight minutes to go. We're still very much in this game. Probably run the ball a lot more than we're doing. Aaron Burbridge. <laughs> Unlikely hero. Run the ball a bit? Yeah, I know. Just saying that. We will. Try it now. Here we go, Cummings. We need this offensive line to block for you. And there we go. All right, that could have been really good. It, it, that's a slow, slow spin move. Wish that was a lot quicker. Cummings is killing it. He was a uh, he was a second round draft pick. Oh, use check. I need you to pick up literally fucking anyone. Anyone would have worked there. Can't just run up to the next layer of the defense and not touch a single person. There's a hold anyway. John Theus. All right. What's new? That's unfortunate. Cummings was not ranked 310. Cummings was a DC. He's like a 76 overall. He's a slow development. He's not bad. He's just a speed back. Third and 19. Four iron territory, of course. Stop spinning. I, it's the only move we have. He's, his juke's even worse. There it is. Let me guess. It's my fault too, right? That's so bad. He's so open.
That's so bad. Oh, picked off Jeremiah George. What? All right, we got the ball back. All right. We're making money moves. We're playing a win. Here we go. Cummings. First down. He's actually been our one bright spot so far. Actually, hold up. There we go. I got my post. That should take... Okay, beautiful. Kalan Adkins in a one-on-one -on -one situation. We're going to him. Kalan Adkins, go up and get it. God! Beathard is about to rush for 100 yards on the day. It's unreal. Back shoulder to that. My dude can't throw to a wide open receiver on a regular pass. Can't exactly aim for a back shoulder. Orleans Darkwa! What are you doing? Orleans Darkwa. Holy shit. Orleans Darkwa is playing a win. All right. You know, Kalan Adkins has also played well. It's mainly been the quarterback that's play that's been poor, I would say. I mean, it is just preseason, but I mean, we're playing a win here. We're playing a show that we can come out and do it. If only uh, fucking Cardale Jones, who's been literally perfect today. His one interception was dropped and tipped up into the air and then picked. I, I, I don't get how the CPU just has QBs come in and just throw dimes the entire fucking game. And of course, that's wide open. Wide open. Cornerback play is inconsistent, to say the least. We'll play some man. Ball's loose. Ball's loose. It's picked up. Oh my goodness. Go. 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 Let's go, baby. Let's go. One for the pitch to Joey Cummings. Here we go on the sweep. We got blockers. Joey Cummings end zone touchdown. Two well, two point conversion. It's 31 31. Here we go, boys. Here we go. I mean, if you've watched the 49ers franchise all season. I mean, you've seen the great comebacks. It's happened. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. No, don't help him up. Who's 10? 
Who's 10 on the team? Don't tell me it's Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, it might be. Oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. He can stay down. Okay. All right. Should have been a pick, but whatever. <laughs> Another miss. Who is this Cardell Jones we're seeing? He's falling apart in the fourth quarter. He's been perfect all game. Cardell is absolutely throwing the game away, literally and figuratively. Here's third and ten. And that's open. Oh, boy. Not good. Flag. Did they just get me? Tell me that was a false start. I wasn't really watching. All right. It was a record in the season. Does anyone watch the series? Um. Uh, it was six and ten. I think we were like five and four before simulation. So we ended up simulating. Jesus Christ! You guys are new here, by the way. I have a YouTube channel, just hit 50,000 subscribers, and if by some way you don't know about it, or not follow my Twitter, links are in the chat. If you're watching this on YouTube later, props to you for making it through this point in the video. This will not be in the edited off-season version, so I appreciate you. Oh my god, make the play, Bailey, fuck! God. What is this guy like? Five foot six? How small is that guy? Who is that? He looks small as hell. What was his name? Hold on. Kenneth Farrow. I am finding out how small you are, Kenneth. Five nine? I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> All right. Okay. Not great in the secondary. That's why speed is so important. We need Joey Cummings to come out here. Make a play. Okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Nice return to the 30. Used to come up with hilarious nicknames for terrible quarterbacks. For example, I call Carson Palmer Face Palmer. Good one. That is hilarious. Trent Taylor. C.J. Beathard comes alive in the fourth. He may not be the starting quarterback anymore. He's certainly making an argument for it. I don't know who's listening, but he's making it. There's heat being set off the edge. C.J. Beathard! Kalon Adkins breaking tackles. All right. All right. Okay. We're out here. We're going to streak him. Step up, Beathard. Wheels. All right. <laughs> Two-minute warning. Two-minute warning. We definitely don't want to give them the ball back with any significant amount of time. But first, we need to score a touchdown. All right, Joey Cummings, first down. Clock keeps moving. All right. Joey Cummings out. Let's go. We're going to juke back inside. That's fine. As long as he didn't fumble there. Could have been really bad. Inside the 15. 
Down to the 12. The man himself is back in the game. It's Orleans Darkwa. Up the middle. Didn't want to score there. That's fine. Return on shoe clock, I think. Orleans Darkwa back in the game. Boom! Down to the one. Shoe clock is coming off. We're getting in the end zone. First and goal from the one, we're getting in. QB sneaking it. CJ Bethard. All right. Points on the board. Arguably the most important play of the game. All right, we're good. We're good. Go for two. We've done so much to get back in the game. I know it's preseason. We're not ending it. I'm going for two and not getting it. Twenty-two seconds. Do not fall apart. Back up. Oh, they're going to run the ball. Oh, my God. If he would have broke that. This is, yes, the most intense preseason game ever. It's more than that to us right now. This might as well be the Super Bowl for some of these backups. I'm telling you. Picked off! Jimmy Ward! Oh my goodness. Cardell Jones has just thrown the ball directly into the hands of Jimmy Ward, a starter, playing in the fourth of a preseason game for unknown reasons. Just don't fumble, Joey. Oh my goodness. I was I was dicey. They're gonna ice me. That's fair. That's fair. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Links to my YouTube channel where we just hit 50k. Thank you guys so much. And my Twitter will be in the chat. Bradley Pinion, where did you get that XP from? Episode something of the 49ers franchise coming soon. As we advance to the regular season to take on. A lot of suspense. The Denver Broncos. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Whatever I, what I say.